Our Eunice Yoon joins us from Beijing with more. It, it does appear they're taking this issue very seriously now, Eunice. Yeah, that's right, Sarah. I think that's um, what the, a lot of investors believe as well, that Chinese regulators as well as other authorities are now stepping up their efforts to try to restore confidence in the markets. Uh, the uh, country's securities regulator had uh, announced new curbs for what they've described as zero tolerance, their zero tolerance approach for, against malicious short sellers. Uh, the state fund that's linked to the Sovereign Wealth Fund announced that it's uh, expanding purchases of ETFs of onshore stocks. And the authorities also vowed to guide, they say, institutional investors to buy more shares. Now, this comes after the stock price stock prices here had hit multi-year lows. Uh, in fact, if you look at some of the markets, such as Shanghai, it was down 14 percent over the past year. Uh, Hong Kong down 24 percent. Shenzhen down 30 percent. There's speculation now that there could be more action on the market as well as on the economy because of some reports that a uh, President Xi could be getting a debrief from financial regulators as early as this week. Now, it's not clear as to whether or not those uh, uh, that meeting is going to uh, result in anything concrete. Uh, but um, there is a lot of pessimism right now, uh, guys, that really needs to be addressed. What sort of specific steps are they talking about? And, and Eunice, can they do more than just paper over some of the stock market losses and get to the fundamental issues with the property market and the debt problems in the economy? Right. Well, that is exactly uh, the, the issue here, that what we are seeing is uh, the authorities um, really addressing what appears to be the symptoms of uh, the, um, the issues, but not really the fundamental problems, that they're going after what they believe to be uh, politically embarrassing for them, which is a stock market fall, and what that might mean um, to domestically here, but also internationally, instead of really trying to address people's concerns about the job market, about uh, the lack of reform, about the lack of clarity on policy. And that's something that we're going to be watching for, especially this week, if that meeting doesn't indeed take place.